Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Brenda with me and she is Darlene's sister I told you guys about um, and Lorna. And anyway, they're here with me today and we just colored her hair. We did a 5N on the back, uh, 4R I weaved through with the bleach. Um, this is a really good color to blend in when you have the natural highlighting coming in because um, you have the light that blends but you still have a little bit of dark um, for some dimension. So, um, she has a darling haircut to fit her personality. She's fun too. <laughs> All the sisters are fun. Um, she obviously likes it short in the back. Not quite as short as Darlene's. But she does like it short. So, I'm just going to first off clean this up. Right, and then we will start on the top with Brenda's. Um, she likes it short and spiky. It's asymmetrical, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and when when she come back this time, she's feeling like it's a little heavy. Um, so that means obviously we're taking some length because she's coming back for her haircut. And we did go a week longer because I was out of town last week. Sorry about that. <laughs> how dare me? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> anyway so uh we are going to point cut into that and then she does like the back short so i'm just holding my fingers um against her head the inside of my fingers there it's actually the outside but you know what i mean <clears throat> okay and then you can see right here on that top was that uh, guide point. <clears throat> point cut into that. Make sure your fingers are touching the nape of the neck here. Oh, that feels good to just even get that much length off. <laughs> like it, it will help so, so much. Okay, so we're coming. And you can kind of see how, and obviously with the shape of, you know, the nape of the neck, it's obviously coming down closer to her head. Um, but just follow your fingers all the way down. And we're just going to take this hair off. Okay, and then we'll come on this side. You can see where that guide point is. Same thing, just stay close. And obviously, if you have tiny little fingers, you're gonna get closer to their head. <laughs> I have big fingers, so you know, you can just kind of adjust to what you guys want. <laughs> if you feel like you need to go shorter, you can, but. This is a pretty good length with my big old fingers. <laughs> Makes it a pretty good length. Okay. You see that guide point right there. Just going from that down. close that K 
here. And of course, um, the stuff in front of the ear, I just kind of comb away. Okay. And hold this. Right here. So I'm I'm trimming this. I'm not obviously coming up as short like I did on this other side, um, but I am trimming it. So you can see it's kind of longer here, but we need this longer because we're going to go into the front. So this side, um, you leave a little longer. Okay, now the top, we are going to go, you can see where the spiky back here starts. So we're gonna come up. We're going to angle. Can you see how I'm like going from short and I'm coming up? Okay, so if I was to hold this and this, you can see it's kind of doing this, okay? So that's what you wanna do. Um, the reason you wanna do that is just because it's gonna fall a little longer in the front. That's why you do the angle. Okay, I'm just holding up that other side. Just combing it up that way. Awesome. Okay. You doing good, Brenda? Mm -hmm. You all right? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, good deal. All right, now I'm gonna come, I'm gonna take half of this hair right here. I'm gonna hold it out. And I'm gonna take, you know, just about as much as I've been taking the whole time. Ooh. Wow, I caught the comb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Usually I'm grabbing a few during each haircut. <laughs> so you can see I'm just kind of coming up this way. Okay, and it meets up to this. Okay, again, I'm gonna take that front part. You can see I'm on an angle and I'm point cutting also. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to come on the side and take from the back part, we're gonna take some of this length. Off of the side. Okay, now. Oh, my flat iron's singing to us. <laughs> okay, so she likes PC2 um, around her forehead, so I'm gonna come this way. Does it ever scare you I'm gonna get you or mm. no? <laughs> when, the, yeah. when the shears are right by your eyes. <laughs> See, I kind of took some shorter ones up in there. It seemed like it was just too long right there. Okay, now we're going to just come in here. Take a little bit of this. All right, Miss Brenda. You're getting there. Okay, now we're going to hold this side out. Oh, no wonder. Like, this is really heavy. <laughs> I know. No wonder. Like, it's, it's, 
Yeah, that's yeah. A lot I was longer. like, oh my heck, <laughs> what? And it's mm. crazy what one week will do though. I know. But yeah, that was right. definitely. You're probably like, where do I put this hair? <laughs> I don't know. It's in my way. <laughs> I know. I need it moved. Yeah. Okay, I'm just coming up. I can see I wanted that that part back here a little shorter. So I'm just blending that in. Paint this right there. Then point cut. Okay, I'm gonna come from the top of this ear and angle down. And she likes it, you know, PC and, and longer here. So I'm just taking pieces up in, if that makes sense. So I'm coming up in and just taking some of those pieces out because um, the other stuff has, has been trimmed when I held it up. So I just took some of those. So there's a little bit of length there. And now we're going to texture. Okay, so again, this will put, you know, shorter hairs in to your hair. So uh, the other hair can dry on top of it. And you can see I'm kind of coming halfway in between. Um, some people like it just in the ends. I like it halfway in between, um, especially if you're wanting volume. Um, and you don't want to like obviously cut it right in a part or you can have shorter hairs there. Um, I guess with a haircut like this though, it would just blend in. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So now, the root lifter, after all this, moves. Okay, volume and texturizing spray, or the lift spray. And then I'm using a tiny bit of blowout cream, which is I mean, tiny, because I'm only using it for over here um, because of the flat iron. It just protects the ends from any heat or blow dryer. Okay, sweet. All right, now the back can just dry down. You can move your you know, fingers back and forth there. volume don't dry it in the same spot so some people just kind of dry like this to get it dry well it's just going in that same spot but if you move it while you're drying it will really help give you volume um, so try that if you have a hard time getting volume okay we're gonna dry this kind of forward here And you want to make sure it's almost dry, but not quite dry when you bring in um, the Epic brush. Okay, I'm just making sure this is all really dry. Just wanted to check. 
check this out. So right here, it seems heavy to me, but I don't wanna take length off. So what happens is you'll wanna come in and just cut some out of it. That way it won't take the whole length of the area, but it'll take some of that bulk out of there. There, so you can kind of see how that lightened that bulk right there. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna take some oil, take two little drops, rub it in. This will help condition your hair too. Um, it's not an oil that like weighs your hair down like some. Um, it's super shiny, and then when you use a flat iron, it's not, it doesn't like stick and make it like, you know how your flat iron gets like yellow looking? It can be from um, oils or products or something like that, so. Okay, and then take a little bit of clay to piece this out. which I'm um, gonna have to start trying to find a new clay slash paste because they're not making this one anymore and I'm super sad. <laughs> Cause this one is like the best. I, I just haven't found one like this. So, but I will be searching out there for all of you so we can piece our hair out. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't want it sticky though, right? That's, yeah. I think that's the hardest part with a pomade or a paste or something like that is it's just too too much they're right. not making another one no and I'm hope oh. I'm hoping that they come out with one I mean I don't know why they'd get rid of that one darn it yeah I really don't isn't that crazy when you find something you like and mm -hmm. you need like it? I mean, and everybody out there watching, like, remember yeah. distortion? Like, why did yeah. they take that from us? Yeah. Why? Why did they do that? Because it worked? No. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm just back combing. Remember when you back comb to go in, down, and out, like this? In, down, and out. That will definitely help. Oh. Okay, and then I like to spray it and then put it into place. That's what's awesome about this hairspray is it holds it, but it's not sticky or heavy. Lauren is over there, the other sister, she's feeling left out. She's the last one to get her hair cut. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn her to the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I've just been kind of putting it into place without looking. Do you like? Yes, yeah, it feels so much better. Good, 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 good. Um, do the bangs still feel heavy? Um, do they look heavy? I, I, I think you need a little bit more piecing okay. out. Okay. So I'm feeling like they're a little bit too much. So I'm just going to piece them out a tiny bit. With a haircut like this, you want it really um, soft and airy through some of this. Just because if it's too like bulky, it can be annoying, especially before you come back and get it cut again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, okay, now let me turn you to the mirror. Okay. Oh my God, feels better too. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. All right, hairspray, oh, in my pocket. <laughs> I do that all the time. Hmm. My husband always says, why 
can you do that? I'm like, <laughs> I'm always like, where did I put my purse? Where did I put my keys? I know. Too funny. Your phone and your you seeing it? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. on my phone before talking. <laughs> I like, can't find my phone. Yeah. Where? I did that to my sister. Yeah. Rochelle, I'm supposed to be there and I cannot find my phone. <laughs> she started laughing. She's like, Madonna, you're yeah. talking to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I gotta go. I know. Gotta love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then the shine spray. All right, and then I'm going to turn her around so you guys can check it out. That feels so oh, much better. Oh, good, good. Yes. It was heavy. Yeah. You, it, you, was. It, it was. It was like I felt like. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't going right. I know. Oh, thank you so much, Brenda, and thanks all of you for your support. Again, I, it means the world to me. So anyway, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.